So I'm gonna teach you how to comb a pompadour hairdo. And I'm gonna show you the easy way to do it, the guy way. Now there's other tutorials where you have to have a roller brush and you roll and you blow dry and you roll and it takes too much time. We're gonna do the easy way, the guy way. And uh, there's some basic things you're gonna need. And uh, here they are. You're gonna need some gel. Now some people use pomades and different waxes and stuff like that. My hair is really thin, so all that stuff doesn't work. I just use gel. And uh, this is uh, Johnny B, got this for 10 bucks, and uh, it works fantastic. I use hairspray, some people don't. Uh, this is Volumax, it's about $8. It's like glue, like if you don't spray, you'll glue your eyes shut and you will be blind and you won't be able to see. So be very careful, it also makes you uh, extremely flammable, like uh, if you light a flame, you'll just explode. So be careful when you're using this, make sure it's completely dry. And uh, I use a standard brush. Not a roller brush, just a regular old brush with all this hair hanging off of it. My wife likes to use it. One of these brushes and a hair dryer. Now, so I've seen videos where people don't use a hair dryer. Again, my hair is thin. I need a hair dryer. Now, to do this, you're going to need hair. My hair is cut kind of long up top here. Not very long. I've actually cut it down a couple inches. And it kind of tapers back, kind of short on the sides. You can do it with an afro or whatever you want. And follow this. It should still work. Okay, so you want to wash it first. Freshly washed hair, uh, even if it's been a couple of hours, it gets greases and oils. I'm a greasy old guy, so it over greases on me and then I can't do anything with it. So I have to freshly wash it before I try anything and it, while well, it's still wet is when I comb it. So sometimes people laugh at me because I wash my hair right before I comb it if it's been a few hours. That's just how I roll. So wash your hair, make sure it's wet, then you're ready to proceed. Uh, we'll start with a little bit of gel. Take a little bit of water, just to kind of spread it out. Work it into a paste, and then just work it into your hair. The gel isn't what's gonna hold it in place, it's just to get it to stand up on end and get to the point where it, uh, it grows when you blow dry it. If you use too much gel, it's not gonna work. You just have a big old hard, crispy hair with tendrils, it's gonna look terrible. So you gotta get just the right amount down, Start with less, maybe you can add a little bit more, you'll, you'll kind of get to figure it out over time. All right, so now I've got the gel, now we're ready to start. So I'm gonna use the rock and roll technique for my hair. What I mean by that is, I'm not gonna do the rolling, I'm gonna do it like I saw like my, my mother and her friends when they were going out to party in the 80s, they would do this teasing thing with their hair where they'd make it huge like a hairband and they would work it. That's where I learned this and it, it works pretty good. So here we go. So we got the basic shape. Now we're going to use some hairspray and we'll start in the back. A little bit of hairspray in the back. And we're going to shape it back there. This is going to lay it flat in the back. Now we'll go back to the front here. One to the front. A little bit of spray on this side. A little bit of spray. Now we do the final shellac. This is what holds it in place for eight to ten hours. So hairspray. This can't last me a month. It's not like I use a super insane amount. And that's it. 
I actually do this when I leave the house. I'm so vain. When I go to the gym to work out, I got like some great hair. Anytime I'm out in public, I got hair, or I'm gonna have to order a hat covering my face. But uh, that's how you correctly, in my opinion, comb a pompadour quickly with uh, very inexpensive products. Thank you.